So what is up guys, today this is a very special day because today I will be riding this 2018 Kawasaki Ninja 650 that I will be reviewing in a while So I will be going to Kalibo, magra-ride po ako dun Let's see how this motorcycle handles or the twisties, you know, of Kalibo kasi alam nyo naman Ang daming twisties doon sa Kalibo after this Pero magpapagas muna tayo dito before we go to Kalibo guys, alrighty? Hey, gotta go to gas, guys. And our gas is uh, 95 octane unleaded gas. 300, boss. 300. Huh. So the gas on this, guys, is uh, 95 octane unleaded gas. That's the recommended uh, gas. But okay, din naman yung blaze, uh, which is a higher octane. Pag sinabing natin higher octane, usually it combusts later which uh, technically increases the compression ratio kasi delay na yung pag sa compression stroke. So, increased compression ratio means uh, increased uh, power. So, that's why na sabi nila maganda yung blaze. That's how it functions. Alright? Anyway, this is uh, quite a big bike, uh, 650cc parallel twin engine. Nasa 196 kilograms po yung weight nito. So, so far, the seat height is very good, you know. And by the way, before I forget, I would like to thank my friend Mar Rivera sa pagpapayram ng motor na ito. Brother, maraming salamat. Riding the 2018 Kawasaki Ninja. 650 guys so uh, one thing I've noticed on this is the seat height the seat height is very friendly it's about uh, 790 millimeters so uh, it's about 50 millimeters lower than that of the ER6N uh, previous generation for uh, Ninja 650 and uh, kasi it looks like a sport bike it handles like a sport bike but the ergonomics is uh, very straightforward it's very comfortable because this is not a uh, real super sport bike this is a sport touring bike so pag sport touring bike uh, it has emphasis on aerodynamics uh, because yung fairing ito is a bit uh, kind of a wide no para syempre yung uh, comfort mo when it comes to touring hindi ka masyadong mafatigue kasi syempre sa isang araw ilang beses ka mag tour dito mag drive ba on the handling of on this one. It doesn't feel really twitchy. And it's surprising because it's a sport touring bike. The suspension should be soft. And it is soft but it is kind of firm. Medyo progressive po siya which uh, pagdating po sa corners, very uh, stable po siya. It doesn't wobble around and go in places. The power of twin, the motor is very smooth. It delivers quite um, an amount and a punch of torque, but it delivers it very smoothly. 65.7 newton meters of torque. 65.7 newton meters of torque at uh, 6,500 RPM yata. So, uh, the good thing about this is it's uh, fast, it has the torque, it has the horsepower, but it delivers it in a, such a friendly and smooth manner. So that's one of the great advantages of the parallel twin motor, because it's actually 49cc. Then the uh, lower piston, so technically it's 49cc, not 325 cc each piston. So, uh, delivers uh, the power very smoothly and like for example I have tried a uh, KTM Duke 690 which is a uh, single cylinder engine that's 
it's uh, not really very smooth, but the torque on that thing is really awesome. That, the torque on that thing is really awesome. The suspension is really good, guys. It's really, really good. For a sport touring bike with uh, kind of a budget suspension, it's really tuned well. And the brakes, the brakes are very good too. The ABS, the ABS on this one kicks in. Actually, I cannot feel the ABS kick in because it's not that fast. But the ABS on this one, uh, it's uh, standard for all models. Yata. So, standard model for all the 2019 or 2018 Kawasaki Ninja 650. It can easily go 140 kph without the engine even, uh, for example, it can easily go 140 kph with the engine that uh, not uh, really doing a red line, you know. torque is amazing and that slipper clutch that slipper clutch really comes into hand pagdating po sa mga corners clutch uh, may ano po siya may konting delay po sa engagement for example if you're on 6th gear and gag uh, slow down po kayo go on all the way to 2nd gear usually pag walang slipper clutch yan the rear wheel jumps like crazy kasi or and uh, sometimes it locks up pa. so uh, with the slipper clutch it does not engage until uh, there is an even amount of torque. The handling is really confidence inspiring. Really confidence inspiring guys. I'm really surprised. <laughs> awesome handling. Awesome handling on this one. I've also ridden a Ninja 400 and compared to the Ninja 400, kahit na this is only a 10,000 RPM red line, uh, actually I've seen YouTube videos na magkasing top speed lang sila, pero since this has bigger displacement but uh, lower red line, kumbaga the torque on this one is uh, the deciding factor. Kumbaga it really accelerates, it really accelerates uh, really fast compared to the Ninja 400. And even if the Ninja 400 has a lower weight, kumbaga power to weight ratio niya is a kind of a good. And kumbaga, uh, ito talaga mas feel mo talaga yung torque niya because of the added displacement sa pistons niya. So, uh, that's an approximate 250cc difference on that one. Like you can really feel the difference. Um, I've also read my Duke 390, so uh, the Duke 390 is a 373cc single cylinder engine with a higher compression ratio compared to this one. So compared to this one, the Duke 390 accelerates also fast and it's also light, but this, the pull, the pull on the twin cylinder, the parallel twin 63cc inline to engine really comes on its own. And the handling, the handling is really awesome. The handling is really awesome, but the power is really magical. That's one of the uh, main selling points of this one. And the good thing about higher displacement engines is that pag nag cruise po kayo ng mga 100 or 120 kph, yung RPM po natin uh, medyo relax pa po, hindi po masya because it's not a high compared to small displacement bikes. But so, the engine will not struggle. Cruising speed will be at just a low, low RPM. So, but, uh, 120 kph is just a cruising speed on this bike. Unlike the smaller displacement bikes, that it really will struggle. We got bad roads here. Bad roads. Palabas ng Roja City. Capiz. Hi, I'm not in Rio City anymore. I'm in uh, uh, Sapian, which is malapit na po sa Altavas. And Altavas is uh, 
the border of uh, Tapiz and Aklan. Oh my god, the roads are really bad. Bad, bad, bad. I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad. Oh. Okay. Welcome to your living copies. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Now let's do a little top speed run here guys. So let's see what this bike's capable of. But let's do it safely because I'm going to bike fast in this area. Alright, let's go. Now that is one long stretch of road guys But definitely hindi siya ganun kasi kasi may uphills and downhills po siya So marami pang blind spot So hindi po natin nakuha yung desired top speed natin Na over 200 km an hour But I think uh, 180 km an hour is just okay diba? Anyway better be safe than sorry naman diba? So safety first po sa atin Ang problema yung overshaking. Alrighty. Come on, man. Okay. Thanks. So anyway, bago ko makalimutan, guys. Shout out pala kay Sir Edson Avellino of Ponte Vedra Capiz. Ma'am uh, Weatherose Bermejo of Maayon Capiz. And uh, Jumel Valencia Yodela of Fix Mash Motovlog. One speed down, Motovlog. And of course, kay Sir Ken Villafuerte uh, of President Rojas. And of course, a friend niya, which is also my friend, Sir Jed De La Cruz of President Rojas. Okay, Sir so, uh, Jed, nasa Boracay na brother. Ingat ka dyan at uh, we, we will be riding soon, di ba? And uh, God bless din bro sa negosyo mo dyan sa Boracay. See you real soon. Hello, my boy. Grabe, it really, it really holds the line very well. The corners, hindi siya, no, it's not middling. Good. 
I'm from there, myself, we're taking. You can really feel the torque. And the slipper glove, too, is amazing. Downshifting is a breeze. It's a smooth SF, man. Smooth. That's why I'm going to uh, describe this bike and the engine, the transmission, everything. Smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Nice work, Kawasaki. Smooth, like I said, driven KTMs eh, and other uh, bikes that are more vibrating than this. And, well, I'm saying that I'm experiencing a four cylinder. This is a little bit vibey than there. So, as you know, I think it's a vibrate. It actually depends on the people. If you have a reference point, you can see that it's a vibrate. Of course, if you're coming from a smaller displacement bike, and then you can see that. The brakes are amazing. That dual uh, caliper disc brake on the front, that Nissan caliper with dual pistons, each caliper really works well. And the same time on the rear, on the rear, the Nissan calipers, uh, the singles, the single caliper 220 millimeter brakes really work well too, hand in hand with the brakes on the front. All right, ganda kawasaki, ganda yung braking niya. It's really smooth too, hindi siya, ano, hindi siya parang uh, super bitey, hindi din siya parang uh, pulang ng power. Kung baga sakto lang kasi, actually, pag iba, pag nakahado ka na ng super sports, you will feel that these brakes are lacking. Kasi syempre, yung iba kasi na super sports, yung uh, stock brakes nila, Brembo, syempre Brembo yun, iba talaga yun. That's a high, more high-end brand. about on the tight corners. The tight corners, remember, this bike uh, has a significant amount of weight which is about 190 kilograms. I'm not gonna lie, you can feel the weight 
but the center of gravity is very low kasi uh, it's re it's completely redesigned kahit yung exhaust niya is an underbelly one Kawasaki managed to put the weight where it should matter which is uh, underneath the bike so the center of gravity on this bike is very good kahit na 190 kilograms for sure you can feel the weight you can feel the weight but it's manageable manageable you guys I tell you, it's really difficult to say something. That's a bang mag ride. <laughs> and aerodynamics, too. We can die aerodynamics, you guys, because this is a ring bike you can really feel the advantage of the windscreen and the bearings in front of you On this one rocks uh, I will not bank on that one I'm not that stupid to bank on roads that don't have traction just like this and you my powder I don't know if you can see that on the GoPro
cuando, cuando, cuando a bit of images that is quite that is accelerating <laughs> that was fine that was fine enjoy ako dun ah that's a fine shade to support ourselves and the tree can we do that but let first let us find that tree for ourselves It's very flickable for a, for a 190 kilogram bike. Ah. Very flickable, man. As long as you do counter steering. Siyempre, counter steering muna. This is a big bike, man. On small bikes, okay lang minsan. Hindi mag counter steer. Pero on uh, big bikes, you really need to counter steer. Kasi the wheels, the tires are heavier and they uh, spin faster. So the rotational momentum on uh, the wheels and the tires are bigger. So counter steering on the bikes is uh, really uh, important.
sa tapet ko. It's this PJMP. Wait lang guys ha. Kasi may PJMP sa unahan natin. Huwag tayong masyadong mag-overtake sa kanila ng mabilis. Para safe tayo. Grabe, ang laki ng bus nila. Siguro may mga inmates sa loob guys. I think uh, this is the uh, Region 6 PJMP which uh, will be papuntang Petitlan. Tapos will be going to Montilupa. Anyway, let's go overtake this guy. So, ayun. So, anyway guys, this is not a full review. Pero, we have a full review din. Kung gusto itong kita yung full review ng uh, nitong Kawasaki Ninja 650 guys, I'll put it on the description down below. Oh my god. Are we recording? Yes, we are recording. That was fun. That was fun. Look at the tires. Nice. Anyway guys, I hope you like that motovlog ride Paputan Kalibo with this Ninja 650. This is John Speed Shift. Ciao.